Baker and the drag racing ordinance sailed through the city council today and it put those dangerous drivers on notice that if they are caught, their vehicles can be impounded. Now, early Sunday morning in this West Loop intersection, it was shut down as a series of vehicles did donuts known as drifting right in the middle of the intersection, putting those who gathered to watch in danger if the drivers had lost control. It is this kind of activity, along with drag racing in parking garages and elsewhere, that the new ordinance would crack down on with solid evidence of whose vehicles were involved. They can be impounded later without the owner being on hand. This isn't about um, finding people and taking their cars from them. This is about safety. And so our hope is that with some aggressive enforcement uh, on the front end, um, we can make some high profile examples of the folks who are organizing this and doing this on a regular basis. Increasingly what we're seeing is the people who are organizing these meetups are not Chicago residents. They're people outside of the city. And many of the cars that come, come from outside of the city. And unfortunately, our thoroughfares are now becoming sports venues for non-residents to wreak havoc in our streets. Also today, the city council voted down an effort to raise the threshold for speed camera tickets, which will continue to be six miles per hour instead of the proposed uh, proposal to only issue tickets for vehicles speeding more than 10 miles over the limit. The debate focusing on safety versus revenue. That vote was 26 to 18. In addition, the council also took action on a couple of other measures. They passed a new ethics ordinance and another one to encourage affordable housing close to CTA stations. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.